Hi again, boys and girls. Danny Solis, King of the Afternoon Drive. It's been a while, but I'm back with another edition of Storytime. Today's tale is called Mama, Did You Hear the News? Now, if you've been watching the news or reading the internet, you probably noticed there are a lot of bad things going on in the world today. For about the last 400 years, a lot of bad people have been doing a lot of bad things to people with dark skin. Unfortunately, these problems are still going on. But the good news is there are literally tens of thousands of good guys like me and you who are going to change all that. Today's story, though, is to help you stay alive if you ever do come across those bad guys. Mama, Did You Hear the News? by Sonia Whitaker Gregg, illustrated by Kim Holt. Mama, did you hear the news? Another man was shot. They say he had a little girl. Bet she misses him a lot. Yes, my son, I heard the news. I prayed for them today. But now I just don't have the words. I don't know what to say. I really just don't understand. I thought cops were the good guys. But every day I watch TV, they're taking someone's life. One boy was eating Skittles. Dad, I like to eat them too. Another played his music loud, just like I sometimes do. I wish I had an answer, son, to calm your fears today. I think it's time we have the talk. Come have a seat, okay? I know you boys are youngsters, but life goes fast, you see. I want to share this with you, words your granny shared with me. A to the L to the I-V-E. Come home alive. That is the key. I'm sure this may sound scary and hard to understand, but boys, you have to promise you will do as I command. If you are ever driving and see those flashing lights, these things you must remember to come home safe, all right? We're not old enough to drive. Do we have to know this now? I'll repeat these words often, my sons, as much as time allows. Don't like these people dying. Can't stand these mamas crying. What did Granny say again? I'm listening, Dad. I'm trying. A to the L to the I-V-E. Come home alive. That is the key. Each letter stands for something. Repeat them in your head. So if you get pulled over, you'll remember what we've said. Always use your manners. Yes, sir. No, sir. Be polite. No attitude and never talk back. Be respectful day and night. Listen and comply. Do exactly as they say. Do not debate or argue or your life you just might pay. Stay in control of your emotions, even if you're upset. Speak low and slow. Watch your tone or they'll see you as a threat. Visible hands at all times, like a clock on 10 and 2. This may be the most important, so please be sure you do. Explain any movement. Sir, may I get my wallet, please? No sudden movements ever. Don't reach, don't grab, don't sneeze. I know this is a lot, my sons. I know you're both just kids. But these things you must remember, these rules you can't forget. One boy was holding his toy gun. He was playing in the park. I'm mad and scared to walk our dog, especially when it's dark. What about the policemen, Mom? Thought they were all good guys. If they don't like us because we're black, what matters? Not our lives. You have a right to be mad and sad with all that's going on. But all policemen are not bad. You're wrong, son. You're wrong. They have families just like us. They're moms and daddies, too. They want to get home safe at night. We pray for those in blue. 
the mean ones are the reason why we had this talk today. So if you do get stopped by one, you'll know just what to say. We love you both so much, our sons. And this you know is true. Your name can't be a hashtag. Bet those mamas said that too. So make sure all your friends know to memorize the five. These words can make a difference so you all come home alive. A. Always use your manners. L. Listen and comply. I. In control of emotions. V. Visible hands always. E. Explain any movement. A to the L to the I-V-E. Come home alive. That is the key. The end. And that was Mama, Did You Hear the News? And I know, boys and girls, it could be a little scary hearing the things that you've just read about, but knowledge is power. And the fact that you know that these bad things are going on, now you can do something to help change it, just like thousands and thousands of other good guys in the world are trying to do right now. It's not going to be easy. After 400 years of the bad guys doing bad things with no accountability, it's going to be a little tough, but we're not going to give up. The good guys will win. We'll see you next time. See you around, buddy boys and girls.